This is the third of four companion videos to technology instruction entering and saving data that was handed out in class. In this third video, we will look at combining vectors into another object that actually contains a number of vectors. It looks a lot more like a table. In the previous videos, we had been creating this script, but there are many times that we might have more than one measurement on it. For example, we might have heights and weights of a bunch of people, and so we want to have a, 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 a data structure that lists the heights and the weights. So we're going to look at, at how to combine two vectors. In this case, we've already got the vector x and the vector y, so we'll look at those two. I'd like to see these two vectors as columns in some kind of a data structure. The command is cbind. So here in the, <clears throat> in the R, I'm putting in cbind, that, that's the function, and it's got two inputs, x and y, separated by commas. Pressing enter at this point produces this new object. Or more precisely, it shows us what the object is that cbind produces. In the x column, is the x vector and the y column is the y vector. Now remember a command that we've used before. Down here in R I'm going to put the function ls with no input at all, press enter. And remember from the previous videos that we have produced up here, we can see them in our script. We produced an, an object called average and these other objects x and, and y. Uh, we're going to produce now a new object. I'm going to call it x c bind, which is going to take the c bind of x y and put that in the object that I'm going to call x y c bind. Now let's look at what's in our list of objects. We, and now we've got this new object, the x y c bind. I, I copied and pasted that command up here and put some annotation in there saying that I'm combining the vectors x and y as a as columns in a matrix. Now sometimes when you're doing this it's kind of handy to come down here to R and put in a few blank spaces before you come up here find the end of your script that you want to run and then run that code so that now we can see all that content. There are a number of different data structures in R. We're going to use a data structure called a data frame that will be here I've added some more notation to our script. Now we do a XY data and use the the function as data frame and convert that XYC bind to a data frame and come up here again to the end of the script. So I'm going to run this entire script and we'll run that code. And now this is what a data frame looks like. That's the last thing that it's showing here. It's now got five rows and it's got these two columns in the x <clears throat> column it's got the x vector and in the y column it's got the the y vector. Some useful commands that we looked at for combining vectors was cbind which uh, makes a matrix with vectors as columns and as data frame which converts one of those cbind objects to a data frame. Okay watch for the next video.